This is a third stimulus check update. President Biden just said that in the next 10 days, 100 million stimulus checks will be delivered as well as 100 million vaccines. If you're using the Get My Payment tool and you're seeing payment status not available, I'll give you the three reasons of why that's happening according to the IRS and what you could do about it. Also, there are more delays being reported with stimulus checks by the banks. I'll give you the details on that. Then I'll answer the questions you leave for me in the comments. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you appreciate these fact-based, fast-paced updates and hit the like button down below. So President Biden is reportedly planning his first major tax hike since 1993 in the next economic package, which is the Build Back Better plan. Now, he did campaign on the promise that he was only going to tax the rich. Let's see if that's the case or not. So it's going to be four different tax raises. He says, raising the tax on the, raising the corporate tax rate to 28% from 21%, raising income tax on individuals earning more than $400,000, expanding the estate tax, and then creating a higher capital gains tax for individuals earning $1 million annually. Uh, so, so far it seems that he is just taxing the rich, but let me know down in the comments below, do you think things will change when the plan comes out? Will individuals making less than $400,000 see a tax hike increase? Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below. President Biden also said, that the US will reach 100 million COVID shots, as well as 100 million stimulus checks delivered in the next 10 days. Bold promise, here's exactly what he said. When I signed the American Rescue Plan uh, last week, I said help is on the way. This week, I, I can report this isn't just on the way, it's here, sooner than many ever thought possible. Over the next 10 days, we'll reach two goals, two giant goals. The first is 100 million shots in people's arms will have been completed within the next 10 days, and 100 million checks in people's pockets in the next 100 days. Shots in arms and money in pockets, that's important. The American Rescue Plan is already doing what it was designed to do make a difference in people's everyday lives. That is a very bold promise by President Biden. If he wants 100 million stimulus checks to be delivered in the next 10 days, that means paper checks and debit cards are gonna have to start flowing out soon. I'll keep you updated on that. Also, I wanna give one more important update before we get into stimulus checks, the $10,200 unemployment tax break. So the IRS is saying don't file an amended tax return if you already filed your tax return. So just to clarify, this $10,200 unemployment tax break is if you received any money through unemployment in 2020, you get a tax break on the first $10,200 as an individual, $20,400 as a married couple. This means you won't have to pay taxes on this amount, which means you could get a good $1,000 to $2,000 as a tax break. But unfortunately, if you filed your taxes already, you can't take advantage of it now. They say don't do anything until they give further instructions. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions on that. I could clarify that in the next video if you want. Now, let's talk about stimulus checks. So, JP Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Citi, as well as many different credit unions are withholding stimulus checks still until March 17th, Wednesday, which is tomorrow. The reason why is because they don't have the full funds available. So, you can't withdraw that money. Most people are seeing a pending deposit in their account, which will be available tomorrow. Tomorrow, March 17th, hopefully. That's the case so far. So if you are seeing that pending deposit in your account, uh, the IRS or the Treasury said some people will see the money in their accounts as early as this weekend as a pending or provisional payment until it is cleared by their financial institution. Basically, the money hasn't been cleared by their financial financial institution, which brings the question, why are other people receiving their stimulus checks? Well, they are using digital banks such as Chime, Green Dot, uh, Walmart Card, among many other dozens of other smaller banks that have essentially fronted the money. They haven't waited for the money to be cleared yet. They're just giving their own money and then taking the stimulus money after. So that's what's happening if you were wondering why there are delays with a direct deposit. Now let's talk about the Get My Payment tool. So if you have had any luck with the Get My Payment tool, most likely you're getting a direct deposit by March 17th. If you're not getting a direct deposit by March 17th, then you're gonna see payment status not available. So 
The three reasons why you are seeing the payment status not available is because you might not be eligible for a payment, your payment might not have been processed or scheduled, and the IRS doesn't have enough information to issue you a payment. Now, one thing it doesn't stay, say here is that the IRS is not giving any information on paper checks being sent out yet. So if you are getting the payment status not available, it may not mean that you did anything wrong or, or that you're not gonna get a stimulus check at all. It just just means that the IRS system hasn't updated itself yet and most likely there's going to be a lot of people who are getting paper checks and debit cards and that information hasn't been updated in the system either and it's just going to say a generic payment status not available let me know down in the comments below have you had any luck with the get my payment tool saying anything else besides payment status not available direct deposit March 17th has it said anything about paper checks or debit cards yet uh, let us know down in the comments below it helps out the community it helps ease people anxiety as well uh, kind of figuring out what people are doing with, uh, with with their own stimulus checks now what can you do about the payment status not available unfortunately at this time there is nothing you could do just be patient wait for the IRS no need to check multiple times a day just check one time they're doing they're updating the system every single night overnight so if you check one time in the morning that should be good enough uh, moving on President Biden is going to make the $300 monthly child tax credit permanent and post pandemic. So that is the plan so far. People haven't even received the $300 or $250 a month child tax credit yet. It's supposed to go out on July 1st. No details yet if you have to take any action or register or qualify or anything like that, uh, but I'll definitely keep you updated. Also getting a lot of questions here, will there be fourth stimulus check after the current third round? So I wanna keep it real with you. Uh, there's news on this that's coming out every day, but it's kind of just regurgitating the same stuff over and over. So regards to a fourth stimulus check, with this Build Back Better plan, if they were to include a fourth stimulus check, Republicans will not go for a fourth stimulus check, which means that they would have to use the reconciliation process again. The reconciliation process could only be used one time per fiscal year. The end of the fiscal year would be October 1st. So if we were to see any stimulus checks, it would have to either be bipartisan with Republican support, which is most likely not going to happen. If it was going to happen through reconciliation, it would have to wait until October 1st. So that's, that's it. I want to keep it real with you. I don't want to give you any false hope, but most likely we wouldn't see a fourth stimulus check until then. Next, I'm going to answer the questions you leave for me in the comments. If you have any questions, uh, leave it down in the comments below. I'll try to get to it in the next video. So Elaine Khan asks, do you have a picture of the car of the government? of that government, uh, the government card that is sending out for stimulus checks. So yeah, that is the EIP debit card. This is a picture right here. So this is the front of the card, the back of the card. Most importantly, this is what the envelope looks like. It'll have the seal on the front of it. Uh, be aware of scams. And the next question comes from Jennifer Lobato. Asked, I have received a letter from the IRS stating I will receive $3,000. I thought it was $1,400 per person. Is there any reason why? So if you're receiving $3,000, uh, so it would be 2,800 for two people and then you're getting $200 of maybe a third person So I'm not really sure uh, there could be some type of garnishment at play here Which is why you're getting a partial stimulus check. It should be $1,400 per person no partial uh, So it looks like there could be a garnishment issue I would try to look and see if there's any private debt collectors or judgment against you to see why the why that's happening Sonia uh, Galarza asks I have my, I have received my stimulus Saturday morning, but my question is, I claim my father and son, and so including me should be four, $4,200 and only receive $2,800. Is there a way I could see why I only receive money for one dependent? So at this time, there is no additional information with dependent money. I've noticed a ton of comments of people not receiving the full amount of their stimulus checks and not getting money for their dependents. At this time, the IRS hasn't said anything. Usually the recourse is you'd have to wait until the end of the year, but I think there are so many issues. The IRS will probably address it in the next month or two after they're done with, uh, uh, with taxes and once they figure out what's going on with dependents. So hopefully that could be figured out soon. As of now, nothing yet. Uh, next question, Lavinia Maynard asks, 
When will people on social security get their stimulus checks? What I've noticed in the comments is that people are already getting their stimulus checks on SSI, SSDI. It really depends if you have direct deposit, which bank you have direct deposit with. Uh, also paper checks and debit cards haven't been sent out yet. So it is not, I think it's still too early to worry about it. And I know it's very frustrating, especially if you're waiting for the money. Uh, Philip White says, I read that Bank of America is also waiting till Wednesday. Is that true? Yes, Bank of America, uh, big banks, city, credit unions, all of those big banks are waiting until Wednesday until the money actually gets into the bank's account and then they're going to give it to the people. So that's the reason why compared to the smaller digital banks, they're just fronting the money. Uh, King Knoll 001 asks, do the recurring $300 per month child tax credit payments starting in July replace the child tax credits that filers get year-end returns? Yes. So this is going to be either $3,000 or $3,600 per kid, and it is going to be paid on a monthly basis for a year, and that is replacing the $2,000 tax credit. So you're not gonna get both, it's gonna be one or the other. Uh, works out in your favor if you have any kids. You get $3,000 or $3,600. Terry Glover asks, what about the $10,200 tax credit? So if you received $10,000 or any, any amount of money in unemployment last year in 2020, then $10,200 of that will be, will, have, will be tax free. You won't have to pay any taxes on it. If you already filed your taxes for 2020, uh, at this time, the IRS is saying, don't file an amendment uh, tax return. Wait, they're gonna give instructions. As soon as I find out more of what you do to, to get that tax break, I'll definitely let you know. But the IRS is saying, don't file a, an amended tax return. And that is all of the stimulus news I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here is my daughter Bella's tip of the day. <laughs> And hi guys, this is Bella to the tip of the day. That's just my sister clip, but now we're doing my clip. So, so what, so what I'm talking about now is to do like when when someone's hurt, you should definitely help them because that if it's if it's like really bad, then you should actually help them. Like I helped a couple of my friends and they they loved it. So that's so that's what I want to say for today. Bye. Bye. And if you want to feel in a better mood, keep those positive vibes going and have a better day, I recommend clicking this video over here. It's on my Wise Vibes channel. I created that channel to uplift people and add more positivity to YouTube, especially if you're watching videos like this, if you're a little anxious about the stimulus check. This video will make you feel so much better. So click that now and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.